You know I love you, don't you? You're a part of me. And I'm a part of you. How did you get involved with the film? I passed a casting uh, in France, so there was a, a meeting with Adrian, uh, no, with Vincenzo and Steve Holman, the producer, and I passed the cast in her office in the Gaumont. And after that, they called me once, months after that and told me, OK, do you, do you wish to go to Toronto to, to have an appointment with the stand guy to spend, to pass one week with them? And I was like, yeah, of course, yes. And I did that, and I hung up the movie, so. You are the heart of the film, and it's kind of weird for audience to feel. Uh -huh. You were able to give heart to the, to the character without er uttering a single sentence. At the beginning, I was very frustrated because I didn't speak and I was like, okay, normally the character have to speak when you are an actress or an actor, you speak or you are stand or you are um, uh, just uh, like a small little role. And <clears throat> after working after years uh, with the body and with uh, just physically, I thought, I told to myself, if she speak, it's not the same. I don't have to speak. I, she don't have to speak. That's weird. That's so, that's so strange. And I was working more physically and more mentally. Like, okay, I put a lot of things on my brain. Like, um, more. I try to develop the the feelings. Like, the, the love, the anger, the the loneliness, the 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 child everything like this and I try to put everything on the same body and to make it to make it brand yeah I heard that you created your own language for the character did you yeah yeah, yeah but I think I, I don't know if they're just my voice or if they mix with some digital or whatever I don't know but I create a lot of things like the How long did it take for you to wear all those makeup and... Not a long time, in really? fact. Yeah, that was very... Sh maybe 30 minutes. Wow. They just make the, the foundation and they put a scare there because I have a big scare on my head, for real. And they do it until there, until there. I have some prosthetic on to my arms and some spot there to make the eyes. Without revealing too much, you're also Dren, the other incarnation of Dren towards the end. Yeah. Really? You're the yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? The most amazing was when Vincenzo come to me and he told me, you are more massive than the other one. I was like, what? He said, I'm sorry, you're going to play the other one. I was like, OK. Right. And I was impressed, but at the same time, I didn't know in which way. You know what I mean? She's become unstable. This is the disaster everyone warns about. There's so many point of view. This is the DNA point of view. This is the love point of view. This is the, the parents point of view. This is the, the, the fear point of view. This is the, the frightened. Right. She's frightened all the time. And she's so natural, so at the beginning, she's so natural, so pure, so like an angel that and they push her a lot and more and more and more and she begins to be another one. Mm -hmm. So there's so many. I think at the same time, the, the good win. Well, it depends on who the good will be. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank Ms. you. A new species set loose in the world.